I'll do. Time for another beer review. For this one, we're going back to Aldi and we're going to Saint Pierre. This is brewed by Pan. Um, it's a Belgian beer. It's coming. It's a Belgian blonde. It's coming in at six point two percent in the seven hundred and fifty ml bottle. So it's a big boy. Um, I've took the cork out already because I have tried to take corks out on bottles previously on these reviews and I look like I'm struggling. So I've literally took the cork out. There's a cork. It looks like a cork. Um, it came in that. So there you go. It was two ninety nine. So already I'm thinking I've got a bargain. Even if it's crap. It's two ninety nine for the beer that's came from Belgium to Carlisle. Um, that's not a bad thing. So um, we'll get it out. We'll see what we get. I'm putting it in my Trappist glass, trying to recreate the scene. So it says Saint Pierre Blonde is a blonde Belgium Abbey beer, full and fruity with a lightly smoked yeast aroma. The combination with a unique blend of herbs and spices gives this top fermented beer a delicious warm and rounded flavour. The secret of St. Pierre's beer is the use of a medieval blend of herbs and spices, Groot from Bruges. Every town used to have its own beer, each with its own individual character. In Bruges, that character was determined by a unique blend of herbs and spices in St. Pierre Blonde. This medieval tradition continues. I, I love that because it keeps telling you that there was a, a secret. The secret of the beer is a secret blend of herbs and spices. And this town's secret recipe and the unique tradition is because of its secret blend of herbs and spices. So um, that's amazing. Um, it's like, it sounds like bloody KFC. Um, right. Um, so the beer, there's a slight chili, it's orange, there's, there's a slow carbonation going to a, a very thin white head. Um, let's get the nose. I'm getting a very yeasty aroma, a bit of esters, slight cloves. Um, it's got that big Belgium yeasty vibe about it. There's a slight spicy on it. A hint of orange. But I am digging deep for that orange. Right, let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, um, straight off for two ninety nine, it's a bargain. Um, to get a, a Belgian beer of this uh, size for two ninety nine is a bargain. Um, it's a solid beer, and for two ninety nine, I think it's decent. Um, so I've get that straight out. Get the price out there now. It's an Aldi beer, and I've been. I've been hard on Aldi beers in the past and said that yes, it's it's a pound, um, but when you start buying bulks of things, it's a rip off. And um, I reviewed that Aldi beer the other day and I said that that was ninety nine pence and I didn't feel ripped off um, for the non alcoholic one. But in hindsight, you can buy al um, non alcoholic Brewdog beers for a pound. Um, so for an extra one pence, you could get the beer it's trying to be. So. Um, you've got to take, you've got to, I, so, I do think with Aldi and Lidl, you have to wear the price up. With this, it's 2 99 for 7 50 and I don't feel I'm being ripped off. It's heavily carbonated, which you kind of get with a lot of Belgian Blondales. It is herbally. I'm getting a very, like, um, coriander, spices. is coming out on the finish. There's a hint of orange. Um like there's like a tang up front and then it goes into this um spiced finish with a, like a fruity aftertaste um i think it's decent i don't think it's amazing 
but for two ninety nine, I think it's really really good. So um, it's a one of the ones where if you're in Aldi and you see it and it's two ninety nine, get it because you won't be ripped off if you want the Belgian beer. Um, like I said, there's far worse in that supermarket for beer. There is some absolute atrocious things in that supermarket when it comes to beer. Rhinebach is good, um, but some of the regular beers that are in there are atrocious. But this is this is all right. Um, I'd happily drink it again. The only thing is, is it's six point two percent and it's seven hundred and fifty mils. And would I be bored by the end of it? Um, I don't know if I'd want to drink it all night. It's, maybe bored's not the right word, but I wouldn't want to drink it all night. So um, I think it's nice as a one-off. So if you see it, have it. If you want to buy yourself one or two, just don't drink them on the same night. Um, so yeah, that's simple. Yeah, solid. Yep. So um, I recommend this one. I'm going to recommend an Aldi beer, there you go, and I'll put it in my Aldi playlist. So, thanks for watching, and on to the next one.